Hey guys, we are live here at the Mecca. I'm screaming because the music is really, really loud. I don't know why it's so loud today. But I am here with my good friends and brothers, Toto so nice. and George, two of our favorite people here at Gold's Gym, a fixture here. Uh, Toto here has the New York Pro in like about three and a half weeks. Two and a half. Two and a half weeks. Look at that face. Can't you tell? As you can tell. <laughs> and George is doing what? Team U? Team Universe. That's how long? July, Universe right? Masters. July, right? July 5th and 6th. Okay, cool. Yeah, so they both got shows coming up. This is going to be Toto's first uh, run at Classic Physique. He's leaving the 212 class for Classic, and I think he's going to do amazing. Yeah. We're going to train chest today. We're going to do an ESPX2 workout with a little bit of uh, changes in there. We're going to kill these guys, have some fun, and then hopefully Toto will show us what he's looking like two and a half weeks out. All right. Okay, guys, so the first exercise we're doing right here is a machine incline press. We're actually going to take the close grip, and we're going to look to target the inner upper portion of the chest right below the clavicle. This is an area that Toto really, really wants to build. He wants a thicker look in the side chest, right from the sternum out to the armpit. Go ahead, Toto, start it up. Okay, so what he's gonna be doing here is he's gonna be focusing on the eccentric or the negative portion of the rep. He's actually gonna lower in about six seconds. Pause for one second and then boom to the top. I taught him to make sure that he's putting a, an arch in the lower back, lifting up the rib cage and shrugging the shoulders down and back so that the chest stays higher than the shoulders because Toto is, is shoulder and arm dominant. We have to make sure that he's recruiting just the chest as much as possible. Now, this close grip on the bar, a lot of people will feel it in their triceps, but if you mentally focus on the chest, you can press and squeeze the chest at the top Taking all the way to failure. Excellent set by Toto. Okay guys, so I mentioned earlier that this is gonna be an ESPX2 workout. So the first exercise, we focus on the eccentric. Now, we're actually doing a super set rather than straight sets to focus on both the stretch portion of the rep and then the contracted portion of the rep. The first exercise is a very slight inclined fly now, as you can see, Toto's coming down to the bottom slowly. He's holding the stretch for three full seconds. He's trying to feel that stretch all the way from the sternum to the armpit. And then he's bringing the weight to the top. He's muscling the weight to the top, using the chest, and trying to keep the delts and the triceps out of it. And again, he has his chest raised high, shoulders, a ground into the bench, down and back, slight arch in the lower back. Coming down one more time, holding the stretch for three seconds, squeezing to the top. Good, that's part one. So that's the S, the stretch portion. Now we're gonna move into a low cable crossover. There he is looking pretty nuts. <laughs> Can't help to pose when you look like that. Yeah, when you, when you look like that, you just gotta hit a shot. So as you can see, what he's doing now, he's starting with the arms down and he's squeezing up to the mid portion of the chest. And this will hit the inner portion of the chest because we're holding the squeeze in the center, the contracted portion, for three full seconds. So this superset focuses on the stretch with the fly and the contracted peak contraction position with a standing cable fly or a low cable crossover. So he's basically trying to hit a most muscular shot right here and hold that squeeze. And again, we cannot isolate any portion of the chest. We could just focus on certain motor unit pulls and we're trying to get that center of the chest so his side chest is deeper and thicker and so that his chest looks thicker even when standing relaxed. This is a very tough superset. It'll give you an absolutely crazy burn and definitely will help ignite growth which is what we're trying to do here with Toto two and a half weeks out. Okay guys, this is gonna be the last exercise for chest today. And this is the portion where we look to go very, very high reps, 20 and above, and just feed the tissue lots of oxygen and nutrients, blood, uh, to help clear out some of the lactic acid from all the intense stuff that we did beforehand. We're doing a side 
chest press on a seated chest press machine. This is great for contracting the inner fibers of the chest, which you can clearly see on Toto here. The striations go all the way from his sternum all the way to his armpit. He's keeping a nice even pace. He's not stopping or starting anywhere in the rep. He's just going like a piston. You can see the great conditioning here. This movement is excellent for competitors, especially who need more thickness and density down the center of the chest. Great for side chest and most musculars. Awesome exercise. All right, this, that just wraps it up for a chest workout. Toto, how you feel, man? You're the I'm one good, uh, who's about to compete. Feeling and good, you're on low, right I'm, I'm on low card right now. I'm on low card right now, yeah. <laughs> how was it? The exercise was great. A lot of under tension and volume. Love it. My chest is so pumped right now. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> George, what do you think, man? You, I you was awesome. George yeah. actually trains Toto. That's so, you're his coach, right? Yes. You've been doing it for many years now. A long time. Yeah. How did you, you feel? Well, I feel great. You know, the contraction to hold, the squeeze. It's stuff we do once in a while, but I know Coach likes to do it. I got a great pump. I guess it's so nice to do something different sometimes. We, oh, we, I think we all, we, I think we all kind of get set in our ways sometimes. So when you train with somebody else, I know like recently we were in Vegas and Matt Porter came to train with Jay, and we actually trained the Matt Porter way, which Jay never does. And just because it's different sometimes, you do something, oh, yeah. you're like, holy shit, it's you know? It's always good. It's yeah. always good to uh, big sit around. It. Yeah, I love awesome. it. Man. Like I said, we love you guys. We see each other yeah. every day, so and we had a good time. All right, so big big E. Today we focus more on Toto, but. Uh, in a few short weeks, George is going to be competing again, so we're going to focus more on him, and hopefully we get to see him both. Hopefully he defers for us on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of us have to defer, myself included, but we'll let George pick the body part next time, and we'll crush that before his show. But again, Toto's got two and a half weeks into the New York Pro. Everybody out there, please wish this guy luck. He's one of the best in the All business. Right. Thank you Thanks, you guys, for coming. Thank it was you great guys. to have you. Thank you, guys. Right. Hey guys, so I just want to quickly recap the workout that we did with Toto and George today so you have it all laid out for you. Uh, and the workout began with a uh, machine incline press. Uh, we were using negatives of about five to six seconds. We did three sets and the goal was under 10 reps. We were all getting somewhere around eight to 10 reps and that was the goal, under 10 reps. Uh, the second uh, movement was a superset of uh, low incline flies supersetted with a uh, low cable crossover or a standing cable fly. Uh, on the incline flies, we were looking to hold the stretch for three seconds. Again, we were looking around eight to 10 reps. Uh, on the standing cable uh, fly, we were looking to hold the contraction for three full seconds. And again, we were somewhere around eight to 10 reps. We did two supersets. And the final movement was a side chest press. Uh, and this one, we wanted to go higher repetitions. Uh, so we were actually shooting for 20 plus, we were all getting about 25 to 30 reps and that tempo was just basically piston-like uh, and we did th uh, two sets there uh, and this varies between two and three sets on different exercises but that's the way we did it today and that should be a great workout for you guys. So guys, uh, on Ask Marlon today I was actually asked a question about chest which fits in with today's workout so I figured I'd answer it uh, and this person wanted to know uh, basically, they admired that how well that I built my chest, and they said, aside from like genetics, what do you think is the number one key to developing larger pecs? And right off the bat, and it's something that I actually touched on during the video, it's torso placement. It's making sure that your torso is in the proper position for stimulate, stimulating the pecs. And this has to do whether you're doing with uh, presses, whether you're doing flies, dips, uh, any chest movement, you have to set the torso correctly. So basically what you want to do is make sure that you have a slight arch in the lower back. You want to raise the rib cage up nice and high so the chest is nice and high. You want to drop the shoulders down and back. Shrug them down and, and into the bench. So basically you're set in this position where the pecs are doing most of the work. Obviously the front deltoids and the triceps are going to become involved. You want to minimize that involvement and by setting the torso correctly, you're gonna minimize the involvement and stimulate the chest. I think this is the number one problem that people have. Um, you know, see guys benching a lot of weight or incline pressing a lot of weight, but yet they don't have a lot of chest development. They have overdeveloped triceps and shoulders, and that's because the torsos are not set correctly, and they're actually dropping, they're, they're keeping the chest low, and they're pressing more this way rather than this way, which will engage more of the chest. So you have to make sure you do that. Second point is, don't over rely on the bench press. People love, they get into the bench press. I did my share, fair share of bench presses. It's a great movement for pecs, but it's only one movement. You have to make sure that you also attack it from various angles, so that you're also doing some work uh, on various inclines, uh, that you're doing 
flies as well on various angles that you do in cable crossovers, dips. You have to make sure that you're making sure that the pecs are working from not only different angles, but through different planes of motion, uh, different ranges of motion. Uh, also make sure that you're hitting different repetition ranges. Some people get caught up with chest and always pushing a lot of weight, so they're down in the three or four or five rep range. The pecs thrive on variety, just like other muscle groups. Make sure that you're hitting reps in the eight to 10 range, 12 to 15, uh, even 20 and above. So do these different things. Don't get your ego involved with training chest, and you'll definitely build a bigger chest.